Twins right and left for the Racers. And it is Anderson needing to come up with a big third down conversion play here. Steps between two defenders, fires downfield, has the man at the 34. That's Feggins backing his way into the 30, down to the 26-yard line. Plenty for the first down, deep into SEMO territory. Trey Hodges with the tackle. Twins right, twins left. The, the enemy is the clock. 15 seconds remaining. The Racers again can call a timeout. Anderson rolls to the right. He throws. It's caught by Gray just as he tries to step in. I didn't think he got in, but the official ruled that he did. He must have touched the pylon and give the racer six. Now from the near hash, Anderson steps up in the pocket. He fires downfield. It's complete to Sappington. And the man tried to knock him down. Couldn't. He's going to get an extra six yards down to the 35 of South. East Missouri, Thompson the tackle. Twins left and right. Racers working from the hash mark on the left side of the field. They'll stuff it in the gut of Pinnock. Has the first down, did some. He's across the 30, 25, 20, and dragged out of bounds inside the 20 yard line. First and 10 racers, Lucas with the tackle. Again, Pinnock comes in motion. They bring it, Anderson fires, and it's a touchdown to Honeycutt in the end zone. Six for the racers, and it's 31 to 16. Get anything going offensively. Let's see if Santa Canarita responds. He throws, and it's deflected, and the racers are going to get a pick. Somehow it hit Wooten, and it's going to be an interception for the racers. I thought it was on the ground, but the racers have the football somehow. This game has flipped on its head from looking like a yawner for Southeast Missouri, 31 nothing at one point. Now the racers a chance to get within a score if they can get a touchdown on this drive. Pass deep to the right side, Fagans holds it in at the five. First and goal, racers inside the five hole with the tackle. First and goal from the four. Anderson looks, left side, fires, caught by Tyree Gray in the back of the end zone. It's a score, and it's a 31-23 game with under four minutes to go in the third quarter. Southeast Missouri, terrific position after the kickoff, and they're going to bring down Santa Catarina with a sack. That is Kenny Wooten's second sack of the day, 10 and a half on the season. He'll go twins left, single wide out to the right. Santa Canarina in the pocket. Can't give him too much time to throw, and there's another sack! They're going to take him down maybe at the line of scrimmage, but this is going to be Mott's Peters, and it's third down and long for the Red Hawks. Trying to overcome that. Snap back to Anderson. Looks downfield. Looks deep. Still looks. He fires the deep ball. He's got Castile open, and he catches it at the 45-yard line of Southeast Missouri. Freeman with the tackle. First and goal from the seven. 146 to go. Snap back to Anderson. Timing play. Left side. It is caught by Brooks, and the racers take the Back with the Southeast Missouri kickoff, and they're just going to kick a line drive that'll be scooped up by Honeycutt at the 20, 25, 30. He's going to try to head to the other side. He's going to eat up a lot of time. Tries to get to the outside. Breaks a tackle. He's across the 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. He's at the 20, 15, 10. He took it to the house, and the racers take the lead. There are no flags on the field. It's 40 to 38 with three seconds to go, and a late celebration flag is all I see. Oh, my, Neil, what are you, what? <laughs> I don't even know what to say, Neil. Holy moly, just gave up, had 20 seconds left. There is going to be a celebration penalty, but all of a sudden, 20, one minute ago, Southeast Missouri's dancing and going to win, going to win the OVC, and oh, no, not going to happen. Cut back, I like you, Neil, said, get down, you're running too much time. And next thing you know, touchdown racers are going to talk about it. They'll enforce it on the kickoff. But with only three seconds left in regulation, if the touchdown holds, you're looking at the score. Murray State 40, Southeast Missouri 38, and it's got to be after the play. One of the most improbable wins you'll ever see in college football and the craziest game I've ever seen or called is a racer, fan or broadcaster. Unbelievable. Murray, a 40-38 win. Josh? <laughs> uh, unbelievable, Neil, is, is how you have to describe it. You're talking about a ball game that started out 31 to nothing. You had a team that was tied for the lead in the OVC, and all of a sudden the racers go into halftime, 
and come out and play one of the best halves of football that has been played at Murray State possibly in history to overcome that deficit, to give up the lead with just over a minute left, and all of a sudden now we've got a 40-38 to 38 win. Unbelievable. 